constellation of Lyra was often represented on star maps as a vulture or an eagle carrying a lyre, and hence sometimes referred to as Aquila Cadens or Vulture Cadens. Beginning at the north, Lyra is bordered by the constellations of Draco, Hercules, Vulpecula, and Cygnus. Lyra is visible from the northern hemisphere from spring through autumn and nearly overhead in temperate latitudes during the summer months. This is what I caught this summer is directly overhead, but now it's more in the lower uh, hemisphere. From the southern hemisphere, it is visible low in the northern sky during the winter months. So now I'm finding it not overhead here in Canada, but instead almost just over the horizon. Vega, the star we will be looking at in detail in this video. Lyra's brightest star is one of the brightest stars in the night sky and forms a corner of the famed summer triangle asterism. Beta Lyrae is the prototype of a class of stars known as Beta Lyrae variables. This is so interesting. These binary stars are so close to each other that they become egg-shaped and material flows from one to the other. Eppelson Lyrae, known informally as the double-double, is a complex multiple star system. Lyra also hosts the Ring Nebula, the second discovered and best known planetary nebula. So I wanted to post a little frame shot of a part that I did get in the constellation of Lyra. This is authentic. It is a photo of deep space in the constellation of Lyra. It's not the clearest because I haven't posted any yet, but I still wanted to give you guys a chance to see what I'm seeing right now myself before I even edit myself. This is what some of the suns and stars look like in and around the constellation of Lyra. One of the constellations with the most trinary binary star systems, it's beautiful. The Gamma Sig Nebula in the constellation of Cygnus, just to show you a quick nice view of what I captured. To organize myself, I've already started labeling and understanding, seeing the different various colors and sizes and magnitudes of these stars. Blue stars, green stars, yellow stars, you name it, the colors are all there trinary star systems, binary star systems. So as I label each star and uh, galaxy, messy objects, etc., that are in the constellation of Lyra and all the other constellations, I'll be posting them inside my files this way to know exactly through authentic photos what, what we are looking we at. We are looking at the Vega star in the constellation of Lyra. This star is 25.05 light years away. The very famous three blue stars that are underneath here Vega in the constellation of Lyra can be seen in the lights of these nebulas, Milky Way, etc. All this beautiful birthing of planets that are around the, the star Vega that we can see here. Another brighter star off to the right, another brighter star here, NGC 6663. It's a spiraling galaxy that we can see right here. I have all this captured, so it's understanding each photo, everything that's on it. It's, it's mind-boggling. Star clusters, nebulas, binary stars. And what's interesting about uh, this constellation is that the Binary stars and the stars are so close to one another that are, they've actually, as I mentioned, become egg-shaped. And they're spewing out this beautiful soup of planets. This looks like seeds. It's a beautiful star. So we're going to go see, we just saw Arcturus. I was able to get some authentic photos of deep space that I was able to take and edit myself. So this here, Vega, is a really nice view close view of the star. Of course I'm going to make some videos. We are going to get some better photos and go uh, see the surface from an overhead view. I mean we're talking about stars over 
33,500 light years away. Some of these here, these stars at the back here are four to 600 light years away. The even dimmer ones could be millions of light years away. This is never ending. There is Vega. Nice idea, close look at the star. Look at the light luminosity it is giving off intensity. I looked up the light intensity, it's pretty, pretty strong. spend my days wondering how the universe was made and when I see this these magnificent gases intertwining together making other gases forming and birthing of planets and stars coming out of this womb the universe of the universe is it's, it's nothing more beautiful and this is magnificent the star Vega is here and it can be seen and we're looking at something that's over 32 light years away this is very far this is magnificent and all the other galaxies and messy objects that you can see in the back here just in this one picture the summer triangle asterism you can see it here Vega left the brighter star a bit over top and the brighter one down here the summer oh, is this the center of the universe or is it a portal to the center of the universe? Is it a massive floating rock that advanced people are living inside of that are far more advanced than we can even imagine? And that they are the ones that are making all these planets and whether it be sorcery, magic, a god, it remains the most beautiful field anyone will ever work, study, or be a part of. We're seeing trinary stars, binary star systems, anomalies that I don't know about, it's blue light. It's beautiful. In the constellation of Lyra. Big. understanding of myself to get a good organization and I understand that to be able to show things on YouTube and for you guys to really appreciate it you really want to get the right information well guys we'll be getting the right information so all these different sized suns these are all photos I've taken myself um, of the in and out of the constellation of uh, Vera all these real authentic photos to give us exactitudes on what are the sizes and what are the binary and trinary and single star systems that are in and around these suns that we're seeing in the constellation of Lyra. All the songs in this video were made by Kevin McLeod. Please go to incompetech.com.